Hola amigos, it's Will here at Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad toy review of the Marvel Legends Mystique figure in her glorious plastic free <laughs> packaging. So firstly, let me break down why you want to watch this review. This figure didn't cost me anything. This figure I paid for. So firstly, why is that the case and why am I doing this video? Well, I'm going to bring in just my custom magneto so you've got a bit of a size comparison and to entertain the eyes while I talk to you. Firstly, this plastic free packaging over here, I'm a big fan of. Do you know what? I'm all about the environment, but at the same time, it shouldn't come at the consequence of the quality of the figure. Now, to you know, your, your initial look and your initial check over the figure, this one looks all right. However, let's have a little look at the side. The, for some reason, whoever has quality checked this figure has not, let me just zoom in here, has not looked at the fact that he's been actually completely gouged out here on the side. Really, really upset when I opened this initially. You can see there's a big cut out of it here. It's all ripped there. It's ripped on the side. And I don't know if this crappy camera will actually pick up on it. But can you, I don't know if you can see, the abs have been completely scratched. That's probably the best lighting I can get. Completely. It's been yanked out and there is no ab definition there. It's like a scratch. Someone's got a scalpel and it. So in my eyes, someone's either stomped on it for a laugh or they've yanked it out of the machine and that's why it's turned out the way it has. Now, am I happy with this overall? No, I was not. Uh, hence the reason I've got a free one here and I'll talk you through why and how I did that. Now, Right into Hasbro, firstly explaining to one that I was not happy about the quality of this figure. I tried to call them, couldn't get through, outlined that as well in my email to them. The second thing was the absolute horrific quality I've just talked you through. Now, you know, is that the end of the world on a display? If she's like this, can you see it? No, but it's principle, man. You know, this costs like 30 quid and I'm not accepting of a substandard figure for £30. So what I decided to do, just to zoom my camera in, what I decided to do was uh, mention to them about Resolver. So as lots of people are aware at the moment, Martin Lewis, um, he set up Resolver. With any complaint, I think if you go to Resolver, they've got to deal with it as a match of urgency. I also talked about their CEO. Um, can't remember what his name is now, but I just Googled that and um, talked about him. I also talked about the likes of um, Dan Who Reviews, Shark Miss Prime, um, Dave Displays Model Behaviour, the Foosh, and explained to them that you know the QC issues they're experiencing at the moment are coming thick and thin. Man, you see so many reviews, whether or not it's people getting the reviews and then the wrong figure being in there, crappy paintwork, um, you know, just, just loads of different things. And more than anything, when we were initially given this figure, it looked like it had pinless joints. And then you've, uh, you see all the promo shots, whoa, pinless joints, everything else. And then, of course, you get this. And there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't have double hinged elbows. I'm not going to do articulation review. And, you know, I do really like this video. For anybody that hasn't seen it, I did a custom Marvel Legends Mystique review because the Mystique that come out, I think it was the Apocalypse Wave, build a figure wave, wasn't it? Uh, was just so badass and just so hard to get hold of. And I really wanted a Mystique in my collection. So, guys, the main reason for this video is for any of you poor people out there who really just have had a very poor experience with Hasbro. Initially, they tried to fob me off and just said, do you know what, Will? No, sorry, return the figure, but we can't guarantee you'll get another one. That just isn't acceptable. I'm not happy to accept that. So having the conversation with them and explaining, look, you know, I'm not stupid. I would also like a subject access request to find out the extent of uh, what you've went to to try and source me a um, another figure so I can return it and get a, and a replica and another one sent that hasn't got any QC issues and they couldn't do that originally they said no so going back to them and just saying that how unacceptable that was as a loyal customer who had ordered Galactus who had got the three pack Daredevil Electro and um, Bullseye figure and all these other things I just mentioned you know I've spent hundreds of pounds with your company and I'm not happy and I won't be accepting what you've told me so I will be taking it further I mentioned the subject access request a minute ago most businesses will absolutely cringe the minute you mention something like that and the reason for that is simple 
because every single interaction they've had, whether or not it's on web chat, email, telephone call, whatever it may be, they have to then annotate and transcribe out and send it to you either, you know, so you can listen to or so you can look at it. So um, I mentioned something like that. I know that the cost to serve me as a customer is going to cost a lot more. I'm not happy using tactics like that, but at the same time, tactics like that are what you have to resort to sometimes if you're having a poor experience. And I was having a poor experience. Am I happy with my free one? I absolutely am. Thank you, Hasbro. I'm really, really happy with um, them sorting me out with that because they didn't need to. Is this a toy review? Uh, yeah, kind of. I don't really do these on this channel, but at the same time, more than anything, this is more so a review of what to do if you have poor quality that's sent out to you by not only just Hasbro, but any business. There is no excuse, especially when you're paying such an expensive price. And in the day and age that we're in, these big, big companies are lucky to be spending anything at the moment. Um, you know, the cost of living, cost of fueling your car, cost of putting on your heating. There's much more important things than action figures going on in the world at the moment. And for me, whew, this bad boy, for all the faults, the scarring on the side, the really, really bad abs, I am so happy with my Marvel Legends Mystique figure. Articulation and everything. I'm just moving it around. I'm looking at the head sculpts. I'm looking at the little baby nightcrawler. Oh god, he's so cute. But yeah, for me, this is the absolute definitive mystique I want in my collection. Thank you, Hasbro. This is a success story. I appreciate your love. I appreciate the customer service that you eventually gave me. And uh, yeah, it wasn't the hardest to get. So guys, please, if you're having a bad experience, feel free to message me on YouTube, on Instagram, or on Facebook. I'm more than happy to give you or to send you a template of what I spoke to them about and saw the points that I raised when I was making my complaint. But please, guys, if you've liked watching this video, please subscribe. Click the, uh, the bell so you get notified every time we do a video like this. And if you like my Marvel, like WWE, if you like any of the other custom figure videos that I do, Pokemon or anything else, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you guys. So from me, from the Marvel Legends, the good mystique, the final awesome version that I'm going to have in my collection. It has been a treat speaking to you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.